smell like cake is a soft spongy slightly dense and moist cake made with all purpose flour and fresh malai this recipe has eggs in it but no oil or butter is used this is actually a perfect beginner's cake and is packed with flavors from fresh cream and cardamom Take two large eggs, separate the egg yolk and the egg whites. Add in the egg whites with quarter cup sugar in a large mixing bowl. This malai cake is made with just a handful of basic ingredients available in our kitchen. This recipe doesn't call for any fancy ingredients. Blend the egg whites until it turns fluffy and soft. Add in the egg yolks and now blend for a minute. Also add a teaspoon of vanilla essence to the egg mixture. See 1 cup maida, 1 teaspoon baking powder and half teaspoon baking soda. One fourth cup condensed milk along with half cup full fat milk. No oil is added to the batter. For a smooth batter, add water gradually. Once the batter is ready, pour it into a greased pan. This is a pudding tray greased with oil and flour. Pour in the batter and tap it to remove any air bubbles. Bake it in a preheated oven for 30 minutes or in a preheated kadai for 35 minutes until the toothpick inserted into the cake comes out clean. To make the malai for the cake, take 2 cup full fat milk in a saucepan. Add 1 fourth cup milk powder, a pinch of cardamom and quarter cup condensed milk. Whisk all the ingredients and let it simmer on a low flame for 8 minutes. Saffron strands can also be added to enhance the flavor but here I am using only cardamom. Once the milk starts to thicken, remove it from the heat and set it aside. Now the cake is completely cooked. Make holes using a fork and pour in the hot malai. Add in chopped almonds and pistachios. Refrigerate for 30 minutes and it's ready to be served. Treat your family with this easy dessert this Ramadan. So guys, do try this Malai cake recipe and share your thoughts with me. And please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video. See you soon with another video.